Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. This is OC, I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking us out. Oh, others, welcome back. We're going to do another spring cleaning video today. I've been spreading them out a little further. My goal is to get done by the middle of March. And I have about two more projects to do after this particular one. We're going to deep clean the staircase today. If you're new, we do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We'll get into that a little later within the video. We also have a newsletter. That information is listed down below with our social sites and our playlist. Smash on that subscribe word. I'm going to show you this stairway. It goes outside and we're going to get started. We're going to also do this in zones. I'm going to explain the zones to the best of my ability and why I like to do them in zones for people who may not understand the concept. These are the steps. There's about 13 of them that go outside to a deck and then finally to the sidewalk where the car is parked. We're going to do this in zones. In zone one, we're looking at the situation to see how bad it is. Zone two, I'm going to remove everything from the steps. Zone three, we're going to sweep. Zone four, we are going to mop. In zone five, we're going to declutter and organize and put things back in group liked items just like we would my pantry shelves. I have ADHD. Zones help me stay focused so I can maintain my train of thought. Now the staircase is done just like other spring cleaning areas three maybe four times a year. I like to do spring, fall, and pre-holiday or if I have someone extremely important coming over to me, a family member or whoever, I do a full sweep and get it tidied up so when they walk in, it looks nice and inviting. We're going to start. We're going to remove everything off. Hey, y'all. Into the, the fast play motion. I'm going to get everything off. That way we can concentrate on sweeping. I'm only going to do a few steps at a time just to make things a little easier and less overwhelming for myself. Utilizing zones really helps me stay focused, as I mentioned, and then I'm going to do one step further. We're going to do a few steps at a time within the zones just to make things easier for me. I don't feel rushed or maybe have an accident going backwards down the stairs. Now I'm just going to take the broom, go back and forth, and get everything swept down to the bottom landing. I will be moving the camera stand out of the way so I can get behind the camera and get that part swept up once I get to the part where I wanted to leave off. Creating a comfort zone within my zones to keep myself focused while I'm doing my cleaning task at hand. Moving the camera back up to the top step right in the breezeway. I'm going to get that home sign out of the way. That's going to get discarded or donated. I'm over it and I don't want it anymore. It takes up room that, that we need for the shoes. And we're going to get the rest of this dirt and dust swept up and then get swept all the way down. So we can mop the little landing here and the stairs that go to the peanut bag. I buy all my cleaning stuff at Dollar Tree. If you've been around, you know I'm a huge, huge fan. If you're new, we have lots to offer from Dollar Tree. It helps save you money. Right down to my cleaning supplies. I have extra poles. I have a stockpile. They have a new line of brooms from a few years ago. This is their Swiffer. And I don't have to use Swiffer's brand, which I like. Continuing on, I'm just going to use my Dollar Tree brand Swiffer as well as the cleaner, which is a Spick and Span. Dollar Tree has lots of name brands for, for cleaning products from Spick and Span to Comet to Ajax. And I love the LA Totally Awesome as well. I have in my hand the Spick and Span. I'm a third generation's user. It works really well. I'm going to use the clean side to wipe down the baseboard. I'll do that all the way down the stairs. Now that the first few steps are done, swept and mopped, I'm just grabbing what I need to go down past the bird bins. I'm going to get them moved up to the clean section so I can sweep underneath them. I'm working my way as I go along down to the bottom by the landing. Get the bird feed picked up and get it swept under there and the bins. 
I will wipe them down and then the baseboard alongside of it just to make sure it is cleaned to the best of my ability with this home being 140 years old. I'm going to move the bins up as I go along. We got them at Walmart for $10 a piece online. They are dog food containers and they're keeping the bird seed and peanuts nice and tidy and fresh for my critters outside. We get a lot of different variety types of birds and we get a lot of squirrel and chipmunk from time to time. We got the door opened. Going to get some things taken out. Those items are going to go downstairs to the utility room where our washer and dryer is and not come back to the stairs. The only thing that's going to come back is the big bag of salt because it is winter time. I do like to do my spring cleaning in January and February so when March rolls around I can be outdoors doing my photography rather than being inside doing my chores for spring cleaning. And I also do my fall cleaning in the midsummer and the pre-holiday cleaning right after the fall season starts so I can stay on top of everything throughout the year. Going to get the landing cleaned up and get everything swept up. Those boots are going to get tossed out. We're going to drop them off at the blue box for donations. And I'm just going to keep them outside so we see them and put them into the car. Going to get that pile of dirt swept up and grab my dustpan. That also came from the Dollar Tree. Check out our Dollar Tree haul playlist linked down below. That was a lot of dirt and it got it all up. And we're going to get our Swiffer from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to mop the stairs and get them cleaned up. And I love the smell of this spick and span. It makes it smell fresh. Even though it doesn't look clean, it is clean. That was a lot of dirt. Not for the mopping. Now that that sweeping part is done, I'm going to get the Swiffer pad on to the Swiffer and we're going to be using a little bit of elbow grease to get the steps done. I'm going to just go over the first two once more and work my way down all the way to the bottom. Then we're going to take care of the very bottom at the landing. That mat will not come back in. It'll stay on top of the other mat outside for a layered look. I don't do a lot of outdoor outside decorating. I'm on the side and my family I would be the only ones that would see it when we come in. I'm going to get it sprayed down little by little until we get to the bottom. Now we're going to do this little landing area. I like to get those rugs from the Dollar Tree because they're useful and if they get ruined I can easily replace them cheap. I'm going to do the baseboard here, the little sides, and anything that doesn't belong is going to be taken out and brought into the utility room out of the stairway making it feel less cluttered and unstuffed. Now we're doing this side of the baseboard where I didn't get to yet. It's clean. Those items are going to come back up except for some of the stuff for the car that can go downstairs. The salt's going to come back up. The boots are getting donated. And then the shoes that I use really quickly in the morning to go to the bus stop and my husband's sneakers. Now we're going to bring back one item from that pile. It's a big huge bag of salt. It's technically still winter. And you know I like to do my spring cleaning within the winter. I had to take care of a couple things that are going to go into the recycle bin. There's that bag of salt. Everything else is going to go downstairs. Just going to do a little bit of touching up. Get it swept out. And I'll shake out that rug a little later today. Get everything put back where it belongs. And finally, we're going to just do a quick touch up. I'm going to put my mop back up here with the cleaning solution. And we're just going to pick up a few of the areas that I missed. And make sure I get it up off the step. Like that glitter that I keep finding from Jacqueline's birthday this past November. And then I'm just going to... Wipe it down at the top of the bins for the squirrel and the blue jay. Get it nice and clean. The next time they're completely empty, I'm going to hose them out completely. Again, they were purchased at Walmart.com. They are 10-gallon pet food bins. And it really keeps everything nice and tidy here. So they're not just tons of bags all over the place. I'm going to go all the way up on both sides, getting areas that I missed. I already removed the five items. Big sign's not going back. And the sneakers will. Sandals. And my boots that need washing.
myself a pool noodle because it keeps toppling over. Long time old Pinterest hack. Matt is outside. That's going to go downstairs and rather than my stairway, making it clurry. The salt is going to stay here. Everything is all swept and mopped. Wiped down in the bird feed containers where I got at Walmart online. And they're actually 10 gallon pet food containers. And then the top is nice and organized and decluttered. All done in zones. Keeping me focused. That is a big job. I'm exhausted. A little flustered. Got my exercise in for today, that's for sure. If you're not sure about zones, give it a try, if, especially if you have trouble focusing. And we removed more than five items, so I'm very happy about that. Decluttering my world and unstuffing it. Don't forget about the giveaways. The information is listed down below. You need a comment in order to qualify. Be subscribed in the United States residence. Not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. In the description box down below is my email address. Contributes 1268yahoo.com with our social sites and our playlist. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching and smash on that subscribe board.